I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on geometry. In this video, we will discuss at length about equilateral triangles and in circle, inscribed circle. So, we will begin with a very general case given a triangle of radius r inscribed in an equilateral triangle ABC. Let length of each side of the triangle be A. So, that is your equilateral triangle ABC with side lengths of A units each and radius of the circle inscribed here R units. Now, based on this, we have seen many questions in test papers. Most of the time, the questions which are kind of complicated are of this form. A. If R is 5 cm, find perimeter of the triangle. That means sum of these three sides. B. If R is 10 cm, just change the value, find area of the triangle, right? So, you need to find the area of the triangle. For that, you need A as well as the height. And C is, if perimeter of the triangle is 12, we are given the sides, find the area of inscribed circle. That could be tricky, right? So, these are the kind of questions which you normally see in a test paper involving equilateral triangles and inscribed circles. Now, I will actually provide you with some formulas right here. Let me construct one more length here, which is the altitude, right? So, here is the altitude. This altitude will divide the base into equal parts. Now, you know, all the angles of our triangle are 60 degrees, right? So, all are 60 degrees. So, let us summarize the formulas which we already know and then uh, we will solve this question. I will actually provide you with some more explanation on the formulas which we are discussing, right? So, first is to find the height itself. So, height H, which let me call this point as D, will be A to D, right? A to D and that height is equal to square root 3 over 2 times a. If the sides are a, this side is a by 2. You could use Pythagorean theorem to find easily the height of this. Correct? So, that is one thing. Second, this is a very interesting point. At this point, medians also will intersect. Angle bisectors are intersecting and perpendicular right bisectors of each sides are also intersected. So, orthocenter uh, is also same as circumcenter and centroid in this particular case. So, you will notice that this radius r which is also that length is basically equal to one third of the height. So, it is one third of h. So, I could actually rewrite this formula. I could write one third of square root of 3 over 2 times a and so I could write r as equal to uh, 1 over 2 square root 3 of a, right? So, that becomes another very important formula. So, we know in terms of a what is radius, clear? Uh, this could of course be written the other way to answer your question. So, A could be written as equal to, you can just multiply this, right? So, 2 square root 3 times R, clear? So, that gives you another formula, right? And as far as the area of triangle is concerned, let's write down the uh, formulas for area triangles on this side. Now, let's consider area, right? So, area of triangle is how much? So, area of the triangle is half base into height. So, which is half of base is A, right, into height, which is square root 3 over 2 times A, right. So, clearly the area of the triangle will be uh, square root 3 over 4 A square. Now, important thing here is we know this in terms of side lengths. We could rearrange substituting the value of a as 2 square root 3, right? So, in that case, if I do that substitution, 
uh, I could also write this as square root 3 over 4, right? Instead of a, I'm using this value now. 2 square root 3 r, right? So, so I'm writing this 2 square root 3 r whole square. Correct? So when I do that, in that case, what happens? Square root 3 square is 3. This is 4. 4 and 4 will cancel. We get r square, right? We get r square. So therefore, we could write this area in terms of r as 3 times square root 3 r square. Do you think? So that becomes the area of the triangle and this time we have written this area of the triangle in terms of radius of the circle itself. So that will help you to find area of the triangle once you know what r is. You can substitute the value and figure this out. This makes sense to you, right? So these are very important relations and of course we can find area of the circle very clearly. Area of the circle will be what? Well, pi r square is area of the circle. So we say area of the circle will be equal to pi times r square and replacing r uh, with this value of a or you could find first r and then do it, right? We could do this. Replacing r square with this a, we get a square over. So I'm just squaring this, right? So 4 times 3, which is 12, right? So, so I could write this as equal to, let me write here, area of the circle is basically equal to all these terms, pi by 12 a square. Perfect. So it is pi by 12 a square. So now you see that if you are given a question of this kind where we want to know different values, given some values, then this particular example which I am discussing with you helps you to solve all the scenarios. Perfect. So I have given you all the required formulas. So the height of a right angle triangle is always square root 3 over 2 times side length. The radius was one third of this height, right? Since this is also a centroid, a circumcenter, and an orthocenter. Perfect. So we get one third of height, which is equal to, so let's highlight this equation also. R is equal to 1 over 2 square root 3 of A. You could rearrange this to find A in terms of R. Area of the triangle is half base into height. In terms of radius, it is 3 square root 3 r square. And area of the circle, which is inscribed in the triangle, can be written as pi over 12 a square. And simple derivation is just before you. So now I hope with this solution, you should be in a position to answer all the above question. I would like you to pause the video provide the solutions or answers for part A, B, and C, and I can always provide you with the required inputs. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for your time, and all the best.